Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So now we're going to practice the Le Chatelier's principle a little bit more. But first I just want to quickly add a definition of Le Chatelier's principle. I didn't mention that in the previous video. So Le Chatelier's principle goes like this. So it says that if a disturbance such as concentration, pressure or temperature is made to a system in equilibrium, the system will react in such a way so as to oppose the change. Now remember this is my definition. It's very similar to the proper definition but I've seen different curriculums use def different definitions and so you should just stick to the one that your curriculum uses. But this is pretty much what it says. So in summary if you change anything about a system that is in equilibrium that system will go against you and it will try oppose what you are doing. So for example if we take this system that we can see, or this reaction, and we increase the concentration of HCl, so we increase the concentration of HCl, then the system will try and decrease the amount of HCl. So it will somehow have to use up all of the HCl, and so your forward reaction will be favored. Because when your forward reaction is favored, it uses up CaCO3 and HCl and it produces CO2, CaCl2 and H2O. So the forward reaction is favored. For number two we are going to increase the amount of CO2. So I should actually say their concentration of CO2 is increased and so that means this one over here is going to have a concentration that increases. And so what will the system try and do? It will try to decrease the amount of CO2. So it means it will have to try use up the CO2. So the CO2 has to be a reactant and not a product. And so we will go in the reverse reaction. Because if we go in the forward direction, then the CO2 is a product and so you would make more. But that's not what we want. We want the amount of CO2 to become less and so we need to use it up and so we want to go in the reverse direction because then CO2 is a reactant. For the next one, the concentration of calcium chloride is decreased. So we are decreasing the amount of calcium chloride. So the system will do what? It will try and increase the amount of CaCl2. So it will try and make more. And so the forward reaction will be favored because then the CaCl2 is a product. And so you'll make more of it. The next one is very important that you pay attention to. Here they are adding more calcium carbonate. Now calcium carbonate is a solid. When you add or remove a solid from a system in equilibrium, it will not affect anything. So nothing will be affected. So you must remember that when you add or remove a solid, it will not affect the equilibrium at all. And so guys, that's all that I'm going to go through for this lesson. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.